Hello everyone and welcome back to Cara's Tippets. We are in the greenhouse again and I'm going to give you a little update on my peas and beans. Or beans and peas, depending on which way you look at it. So these have been here quite a while, pretty much. I've given you frequent updates on them. As you can see, the broad beans have come on quite well. like a hint of black fly always what you want they were part of the compost test and it's come up with really very confusing results if we start with the peas now these were the ones that were in the Jack's Magic compost and the ones at the back were the ones that were in the New Horizon compost I have switched them around a bit like the other day so these were right back there and to me, it definitely seems like the ones in the Jack's Magic have come on better. But if we go over to the beans, the ones at the back, which were at the front, seem to have come on better. And they were in New Horizon Peak Free compost. And we've had a failure of germination in the Jack's Magic there. Same over here. Peat free at the back. Jack's Magic at the front. And they're pretty much the same. The Jack's Magic just have the edge on it here. So I'm wondering, because there was a little confusion when I put them next to each other. The wrong sorts. It could be related to where they were. But as far as a compost experiment goes, I don't think you can really judge from those. So more experiments are obviously needed. And what we are actually going to do today is we're going to plant them out because you can see they're getting quite big, getting quite, you know. And we're going to do all of them and I need to figure out my bed system. So I'll just get on and do that, vacating the beans and peas from here so more things can go in. So this is the bed that the peas and beans are going to go in. It's a little bit lacklustre at the moment, I think I'll have to give it a forking over. Just remove those weeds. Just as a little additional, if you can see that, these are the ones that were in the Jack's Magic, these are the ones that were in the New Horizon. They have so much more root growth on the peas. I got my hurry again, but then again we didn't find the hurry, so I'm going to try it. I'm spraying them with something and basically it's this grazer slug and snail it has calcium in it it's supposed to make them taste unpalatable so I guess we'll see if it works whoa this is good stuff oh it's quite long isn't it it's just compressed so I can just put it out the length I want it to be once a slug's caught in there it's kind of like in there <laughs> if a slug braves it it'll just sort of like roam its little merry way round right. I'm trying not to break it up too much though because I 
Another thing I'm using to stop the slugs is this. It's wool cool. It gets sent out as packaging material. And I'm hoping it will be similar to the wool that you get in the pots at deterring slugs. You can see how thick it is. And I'm just sort of like putting it along and then fluffing it up a little bit to make it all coarse and nasty. I can't stand the feel of it, so hopefully the slugs can't either. Stage one here is complete. The beans are in. No, the peas are in. There's wool cool all around there. They've been sprayed by the grazer slug and snail spray. I'm going to put some lettuce in here that I've grown just as an additional little snack to deter the slugs. We need Tom. Is that right? Yeah. I'm getting too wide to fit in here. So another thing that I'm going to put down to try and deter the slugs but also provide a weed suppressor is this old pillar bedding. It's actually horse bedding but they used to use it before they decided they didn't want to. It also provides a nice mulch. I'll just straight on a plant, obviously. And time to plant the beans. I can't remember the spacing for beans. Yeah, if I just do it six and then five and the label, these are the Grano Violetto. actually seeing a difference in the roots of the ones that were in the Jack's Magic and the ones that were in the New Horizon as well. Except I'm not because these were the ones in the New Horizon. Pretty much of a muchness. In label Where was it? in the other pot uh -huh. so one pot has two labels <laughs> um is that me we're not sure what's in one of the pots yeah 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 because one has two labels so either one's lost its label or one gains has gained a label so maybe i was right and i haven't muddled them <laughs> Because I was being really careful with that, so now they are muddled. So now they're definitely muddled. Now they're definitely muddled, yeah. I don't know, you try your best to label things. 
It's like fate is telling me that there's no point. <laughs> what, to have these hilarious incidents where things end up unlabeled anyway? Yeah. <sighs> Where'd the bubble be? It was flying over our heads though. Missed one. Nice happy little one sat in the centre, just proud of the soil. So we are pretty much done here, it just needs a good water just directly around each plant. It has a barrier of wool coal which is just wool, just shredded out, some paper bedding, I think it's called Megazorb, it's for horses anyway, and I had it spare in my cupboard. Peas, peas, lettuce, broad beans, all planted, they have all been sprayed with the grazer spray and the next, the only other thing that I'm going to do is I am going to put that barrier around because I found that very useful last year, just put a little barrier of Environmesh just around like two sides of it maybe, just to keep the wind off and keep it out of sight of birds. Can you get me some poles and the ground anchors from the shed please? Uh, yeah. I just thought it would be better to use the ground anchors because then I could just take them up easily. What do you think? Do you think I should do it inside the barrier? It's just it's a bit tight over there. Um, I would do it... Yeah, maybe inside, try and get it inside the barrier as much as possible. Yeah. So yeah. they don't abseil there. Yeah. Well, the wind comes from that side, but the sun also comes from that side, so... Yeah, so it's a case of... I don't know which side the birds come from, every side. I, th I genuinely think the birds come wherever they, they down well, please. I think we are fought bean. It's just so that they don't sit there going nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, nom. Mm. Mm. The worry is that they'll be like, ooh, stretchy. Mm. You know how Murphy stretches? Yeah. So we now have Fort Bean, or Fort P. I'm hoping the little uh, 
um, what do you call it, birds don't sort of like sit there pecking that. But this is as tight as I'm gonna get it. I'm trying to avoid the slugs climbing up the barrier. But I don't think it could be any more proofed, apart from being covered completely, and I don't have the stuff for that. But it's sheltered, it'll be a nice, what's the word? It should protect everything as much as I actually can. So we have net against the birds. We have wool and spray against the slugs. We have mulch against drought. I forgot to put any plant food down, but that can go on top. I knew I'd forgotten something. It's oh. <sighs> quite a good job. If anything gets in that, I'll be most irritated. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Please hit things to um, watch other videos. And thank you for enjoying my P&B experience. Bye for now.